Welcome back everybody to How I Did It Garage. Today we're actually not at How I Did It Garage. We're, I guess we can say, How I Did It Garage Part 2. No. Backup spot. Eh. I don't know. Either way. Today we're going to be talking about 415. My final thoughts on it. So, 415. Paint direct over rust. The preventative stuff. This stuff right here, the gloss black. So what I used. I also used top coat, and of course I went through the, the whole procedure. So this is what you call a three-step process. Get into details in a second. You go through, uh, prep the metal. I said this wrong. You don't put this on there first. You, first you degrease it, then you use the metal prep, then paint. And then if desired, you can put a top coat on it, which I did for extra protection. Uh, to do this, what I did is I got some just regular paint brushes. I don't, I don't think I use these. It's just what I'm using today. But I got some uh, cheapo Harbor Freight paint brushes. Got some spray bottles, so I can put some of the metal prep on it, the regular degreaser on it, and then I brushed it on directly from on both of these directly from the can. I don't know how open this back up is going to be. I heard it was a pain if you didn't clean it off. I didn't clean it off. We'll find out in a second. Did it on a 71 Nova K member frame. Let's zoom on out here. So sorry about the light, and we got some skylights, but this is what we did on. I think it turned out pretty good considering my time frame, how I did it, and all that good stuff. How it turned out was, uh, I feel like, completely on me. I was uh, pressed for time, multiple days trying to do it, uh, between work and everything else. So, what is 415 for? It's for rusted stuff. Duh. But it's for services like this. You know, stuff like that. How I did garage mascot. You put it on something like this, put the degreaser on there, get it all cleaned up, wash it off, metal prep it, wash it off, then you can apply your... Paint. It'd be good for something like this. I'm gonna try to show you an example of what you, from my experience and what I've seen from other from reviews, stuff you don't want to use it on. So this is a frame. Most Chevy trucks, as everybody knows, is really bad about rusting. You do not, like if this stuff is just flaking off and I mean, you got pieces of metal welded on there and bolted on there to stop it from breaking and junk like that, you don't want to use it on something like that. This ain't that bad, but you know what I'm saying? You don't want it, you know, the flaky, rusty, peeling, pretty much gone. It ain't going to fix it. It's just going to make it worse because it's going to trap the water in behind it and make it worse. Don't, don't, don't do it on stuff like that. I'll put a picture somewhere around here showing of, you know, probably what you don't want to put it on. So what I think about it, I think it's excellent. I think it works great. If you use it correctly, as you probably hear a lot of people say. So from my experience with this, what I did to prep this metal is I used a little bit of everything. I used sander, sand blaster, some areas I just left alone, a wire brush, different areas I did different things. Just because I was trying to figure out the best way to get the rust off. I used a grinder. The places I prepped with the, that made it real smooth like with the grinder, where I was applying this top coat on it. Where it was smooth, it was just flaking off. Big chunks of it was just flaking off. So I kind of flaked it up and just painted over it. But whenever I was peeling those flakes up, I got to an area where I didn't hit it with the grinder. It was still rusty there, and it stuck. It was not coming up for nothing. It was, the, the, the black 415 was stuck to that rusted area. So if you prep it real smooth-like, it's not going to stick to it that good. You want a rough area, a rusted area. Not terribly rusty. So my advice would be to the places I sandblasted, it did pretty good. It stuck to the sandblasted area, it was really good. And I actually used sand, regular play sand and a Harbor Freight sandblaster. I sandblasted it, and it stuck to it pretty good. And it, But it stuck better to the areas that was uh, still rusty like this. It stuck best to that. Uh, this don't do it no justice. This was the bottom part, I didn't touch it. I just had it sitting on a bucket. Watch the other video of me actually applying it and all that good stuff. But it was a real good finish on it. And then me, I brushed this on there real quick just to get it on there. I was running out of time, but probably make that look better. I believe this, the top coat, you can sand it too to make it smooth. But my, for what I'm using this for, I'm not really restoring the car, so I'm not too worried this about it. This is how the top turned out. Between transportation from here to there, there to here, in different places, it kind of got some scratches on it. Uh, I didn't take precaution, but besides this... Top coat came off, but that black the bottom coat stayed on there for the most part. Bringing it here on the trailer and it was bouncing up and down, I didn't really have it supported that well. But it was, uh, it was really good, especially the black 
it smoothed out and was real shiny and looked looked excellent it says put a you can do i guess you can do as many coats as you want to but they recommend doing thin coats uh the first coat do a real thin coat then go back over it and as soon as it's tacky to the touch but don't come off you can apply the second coat recommended to steer like this steer it up not shake it because it gets air bubbles in it and it's supposed to mess it up or something like that i don't know I cut myself. To finish up what I've done, I'm going to, I've already sanded it down a little bit, probably not like I should, but good enough for me. Stirred it up, I'm going to apply it to all these places I didn't get to, some of the places that got real thin. Do it by spray, if you do it by spray you got to uh, get a thinner of some sort. Real good. I'd recommend getting a good brush also. I got the cheap ones at first and the bristles was coming off into my paint and caused it to not have, have a not so good finish. If you're going to do this on something like this, I'd recommend doing one side and then flipping it to the other side because it is self leveling. And I think it just makes sense for it to turn out better that way. I don't think you're supposed to apply this on top of the top coat, but that's what's happening. Also, don't get this on your hands. It takes weeks to come off. And for the final product. Not bad. Missed a few spots, but I did what I could. Oh, yep. Not bad. You got the you got the brush strokes in there. You can see. But I believe the top coat is sandable. So you can sand this down and get the smooth finish. And also you can put like a I think they even sell like a clear coat if you want to put on there too. So but for me this is this is it. This is it. I'm gonna be going on the, the Nova. But I approve. If you can read instructions.